is it important that it's my body or is it some is it okay to be somebody else's body I don't know um, but so far I've just been using my body because the things that I want a, a live body for and that's the mo more important thing for me of using a living body are things that I wouldn't want to ask somebody else to do And I'm, when I was thinking about what was my work going to be, I was thinking about the definition of sculpture and wanting to work with um, like expectations of what sculpture is. And I think really since Dada or Marcel Duchamp, sculpture can be anything. Art is forever. That's one thing that, that sort of um, a stereotype of what art is supposed to be. If you put a body part into sculpture, then uh, does that make it sculpture? Does it make it performance? And um, then does it satisfy the question of is art forever? That's my reason for originally wanting to use a body part, was just to play with that question. Um, no, well, I do think that um, I've always liked sculpture that was more installation-like and more theatrical and uh, more environmental, taking over. Uh, I was studying a lot of the history of 19th century art and especially like popular art, like um, the Tableau Vivant was, um, is of course one of my favorite 19th century art pastimes. Well, when I first started doing performances was um, in college in which I was making my own tableau vivants and uh, but I was doing tableau vivants of unknown painting or like 18th century caricatures. Um, that led me in another direction altogether where since somebody recognizes the scenes I was using anyway to start doing my own thing. 70s and 80s um, California art, like um, Charles Ray is really important to me. He did a lot of sculpture performance hybrids. I really appreciated that when he's sitting in two cubes and two cubes or two metal cubes are like pushed next to each other and he has his arm coming out of one and is like coming out of another. Or like um, Giannis Kunelis also in the late 70s used live bodies in his work. Asking is the body, can it be a ready-made, Can if you're using it as a material in sculpture. Well, I did this work at, where I had an oval frame and I had my hand in the frame and then I was behind the wall so you couldn't see me and I just held my hand in this frame and these sort of art historical gestures and um, and I did that at Pace One for six months and so I had a long time to like experience people looking at my work and I noticed that people often thought they didn't believe that my hand was real in there and um, and then they would realize it was real, and they realized like I was. They would think I'm trying to trick them, and then they sort of then they would like hurt me, like pinch me or try to give me a paper cut. They think that I'm trying to trick them, and um, but they are not being tricked because they can tell it's real. <laughs> this lamp work where there was a monitor with my hands were filmed, a film version of my hands clapping on the monitor and the hands were clapping and triggering a clapper device to turn on and off a lamp. And then there was a, um, a video of an oscillating fan and that was um, playing bottles of water that had been set in front of it that had a certain amount of water in it so that it would create different notes as the air passed by. And, um, and then there was a figure who is supposed to be a magician, but like a headless magician wearing, wearing a tuxedo and top hat instead of a head, um, played the musical saw. And then also the instrument of that the magician uses to saw a lady in half. So I was playing off of my real performance. Yeah, so there was this juxtaposition of the sort of real performance of me being inside the saw the lady box versus these um, sort of 
um, recorded performances because throughout the whole exhibition I wanted to have these juxtapositions of like real and fake. The illusion that I was using with the saw the lady in half illusion is um, clearly not an illusion. I mean it's clearly an illusion because if you were to saw some lady in half truly you would kill her. And, um, and I was upping the ante by, instead of saying, selling the lady in half, sell the lady the head, to like really sort of have that juxtaposition of like not real illusion, like super, like clearly an illusion versus the actual reality of my legs. For me, it's very clear in that I'm constantly appropriating myself and everyday objects around me for repurposing for metaphorical uses uh, to talk about uh, definitions of sculpture and um, nature of mortality.